Hello, and welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 24W44A, and the new winter drop features are all going to be coming to the game very soon, and it's not going to be 1.22, it's actually going to be 1.21.4, a lot of fours this week, you know, crazy, so this won't actually be the next major update, it's like a mini update, which is really cool, this makes me very excited for the next update, if this is like the mini update, it's going to be crazy, but we're here in Java Edition, if you checked out the Bedrock Edition, you'd have seen all these new blocks, but there's also a bunch of other new stuff added in. So we have, of course, our Eye Blossom and our Closed Eye Blossom. So the Open and Closed one, they've added a new particle effect, and you can also see, look at all these particle effects. I love them. They're so cool. It's like the Cherry Blossoms, how they have like the nice particle effect. Look at that. The ambient of the leaves like falling is so nice. It's, look at it. Beautiful. I love it. So yeah, so when they close and open now, they actually have a cool new particle effect, so I'll pl place it down. And it will close up now, because it's daytime. Just got to wait for it to close. Okay, I'll put down a couple more. Bam. Look at that! You see those particle effects? Very cool. And they like chain reaction now, so like when one closes, like the rest will start closing. So that's really cool. And we'll quickly slash time set night. The will open. Look at that. Very cool. And then we'll time set day as well. So we don't have creakings all over the place. Look at the, look at the watering trader go. And we've got the watering trader here because he's actually going to be trading new stuff. So he'll now trade you the saplings for these trees. He'll trade you for the vines and also the moss. So with these, plus he also trades the resin, which we'll talk about in a second. If you haven't watched the bedrock video, you know, you might be like, oh, what's going on? But yeah. So he'll now trade you all of these blocks. So if you're in super flat or in sky block, you better get all of this stuff. And the creaking heart, which spawns the creaking, which we talked about in previous snapshots, is crafted with the resin blocks right here. You craft it with the resin, and the resin will then, you know, craft that together with the, and then you put the like the creaking heart between two of these blocks right here like that. I'll quickly grab one. Uh, is it creaking heart? Yeah, creaking heart, that's right. Bam. You put it between the two of these. Yeah, it activates there. Very cool. So we have that there. Very cool. And yeah, so now you can do this literally all in survival mode in, you know, super flat and sky block. Very, very cool. We've got all of the different blocks right here, which are really, really cool. We have the ore block. And it's really cool because I just realized, like, you know, when I looked at it, like, here, the resin clump is exactly the same as the iron ore copper ore and gold ore, they're all the same kind of block, which is really, really cool. You know, like they're that, and then they have the cooked version, which is like the, the ingot, but it's like a brick, you know? That's very cool. And also, we have our bowl, where you can make stew. You can also make suspicious stew from these, from either of these, and they give you blindness, but you can do that. Very cool. Very, very cool. And yeah, once you get like the raw copper, not raw copper, raw, it's like it's like copper, you know. But the raw clumps, you can make them into a block. You can also make the cooked brick version into a block as well. And then from this, you can then craft all the other stuff. You know, walls, slabs, and chiseled. All the same kind of crafting recipes as the original. Yep, stairs as well. Bam. Obviously, we have a grindstone. It's very easy to have a grindstone to do that. And very, very good. And the resin, you get the resin from the creaking heart. And they've actually changed it now. So, when you hit a creaking, we'll make it time set night. Bam. Here he is. Alright, when you hit him now, and he spawns resin, one is a huge nerf. So, now it takes five seconds per... Like, five seconds before the next one can spawn in. So... The people who make a farm will obviously have to like you'll have to have like multiple creakings and you have to hit all of them. So then you can like spawn more in at like once, you know. I'm trying to sit day because it's like annoying with all these guys around, but yeah. So cool how they like disappear and like they fall apart. But yeah, so like it'll only spawn it won't spawn them, you know, on any block now. So before it would spawn them on like all random blocks, which is like I suppose we be like hitting a bunch of creakings and then you have like these these like spawned all over the ground, it'll be a little bit annoying. But they only will spawn on the pale wood. But you yourself, when you like mine it, you mine it up, 
and then you get the clump. You can put the clump on any solid block, so you can still place it on any sort of block, which is really cool. Honestly, the detail's gonna be crazy. Like, look at that. It's a crafting, crafting table, and it's like, oh, I've got some, like, stuff I'm crafting on it. Like, it's gonna be, re that's really cool. I would honestly love to see, like, other kind of stuff, like resin to, like, stick on stuff. You know? It'd be cool as well if it could be, like, a little bit sticky as well, like, you know? Sort of like how honey, you know, if you grab honey, honey, how you stick on honey. So if you grab a honey block and throw that here. Yeah, we get the honey right there. Bam. Oh, no, I'm lagging. Oh, dude, it is a snapshot, but okay, we're good. But yeah, look at how sticky. We can't even jump. Yeah. Oh, you can get the achievement as well if you, like, slide down it. Yeah, it'd be cool if, like, you could, um... Like, this would be sticky as well. Like, not as sticky, but, like, a little bit sticky. So, like, if you walk through it, you'd, like, sort of, like, get slowed down. It'd be cool for, like, maps and stuff to do that. Very cool. And then we have this bee right here. You're probably like, what is this? What's this bee doing here? They've added, so if you feed it a flower, it'll poison it, which is, like, crazy. And if you feed it a wither rose, it'll wither it as well. Which is, like, the poor bee, man. I'm sorry, poor bee. I'm sorry I'm, like, you know, he gets poisoned and, like, withered. But yeah, but that's cool though. It's like it's like to show you what, like these are not like good. These are not like good fl flowers for the bee, you know. You know what they should probably add? They should add like these things called fireflies and make it poisonous to frogs and show you. Oh, it's not a good thing for the frogs to have. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, because they're, they're adding like flowers that will poison bees and like you know it's like. Okay, I'm not gonna get into all that. They got rid of the mob vote. Thank goodness. But yeah, okay. So in fact, all the stuff right here. Honestly, really cool stuff. It's really cool stuff, you know. And it's going to be literally releasing, like, this year, very soon. The bee died! No! <laughs> the bee! I'm so sorry, bee. But yeah, bam. Very cool. Yeah, so the resin is going to be, like, definitely harder to get now. I'm sure, like, the farm will be, like, released tomorrow by Raiseworks and those people. Like, oh, here you go. Here's my super duper resin farm. And the cool thing is you can get a piston to push the block, and it will, like, harvest the... The harvest the resin for you, so you don't even have to like harvest the resin. So all you have to do is like hit the, hit the creaking. You sit a like AFK spot with probably a sweeping sword and just like hit all the creaking, and then they like they have a bunch of these. And it'll be really, really, really easy to set up because these like um because because you can make these and also silk touch them. You can like literally put the farm anywhere, which is really cool. Another cool thing I found out is because I put barriers around the wandering treader right here. When you get the moss carpet right here. It, like, goes on the side of the block. Look how cool that looks. Look at that! So you can get these really cool, like, one block, one pixel thin, like, you know, flowers, you know, that, like, you know, they're really cool. Look at that! That's cool. So if you have, like, invisible blocks, you can, like, put the visible blocks, like, you know. Look at that, look at that. It's, like, a cool new plant you can, like, make. Very cool. And a few final things. The block of resin... Just cross it from nine of the resin blocks, re nine of the resin. This is insta mineable, so if you're in solver mode, you can literally insta mine it. And then if we. Oh! Okay, survival. No, survival. So satisfying. I love, I love, I love everything insta mineable. It's great. That is so much fun. And it's really easy to get. And also, these blocks, because of these, they, they updated this to be like insta mineable. These blocks will now be able to be mined with your hand. Before they wouldn't drop, but now you can mine these with your hand and get these blocks. So, I'll show you quickly. There you go. You can get the bell and the lantern just by mining them. Very cool. I think there's a few other things you could mine as well with your hand, which is really cool. I believe it was like also like, was it doors as well? I think like some of the, the door variants as well, like the, the iron doors and copper doors as well. There's a, few, there's a lot of bug fixes as well. Which is really cool. Yeah, look at all this stuff right here. I have the hidden creative menu option right here open. Got our debug stick. We can actually debug stuff. Yo, what is that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's like the that's like the snow grass block. Okay, cool. It has no properties. But it has like an open and closed version. I guess they're like different plants completely, because you can't even like debug it. Any debug stuff? Oh yeah, this can like be rotated around. Cool. Oh, that's so interesting. 
Yo, very cool. Try to see if there's any debuggable stuff. Yo, look at that! That's cool. Debug 6 is really cool. Look at that. That's epic. Look at that. That's so interesting. Very cool. Debug 6 is great. Also, yeah, another another cool thing. If we grab this and we grow a tree. You have to grow them with four blocks and we grab some bone meal. Real quick. If you grow this tree, it will not spawn with moss carpet or moss below it. And it will not spawn with the the hanging, what do they call it? Yeah, pal hanging moss, you know? You won't spawn with those, so you can't get those, but you can get them from wandering traders. So if you're in a creative world, not creative world, a super flat or a sky block, you can still get these. And once you have one, you can harvest them. You can use bone meal to get more of them. So it's really good that way. And if you're in a pale, um, also, yeah, Wandering Trader will also sell these flowers as well. So you can get infinite these flowers as well from the Wandering Trader. And obviously, you're in, if you're in one of these biomes, you can just bone all the grass and they will eventually give you a flower. Yeah, there's one right there. Bam. Get that unlucky, but yeah. There you go. And they'll spawn in close because it's daytime. And they'll open at nighttime. Very cool. Lots of really cool stuff, and the update is going to release this year. Very cool, over here in our biome. And yeah, this biome will always spawn next to a dark oak forest, which is pretty cool. It's a sub-version of a biome, which, you know, I like. It's, 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 it's actually cool, like, they're adding sub-biomes now, you know. But it, it could be, like, rare to find. Like, this one's, like, pretty far out. It's getting a bit laggy, because, like, all of the particle effects are, like, spawning in. So you see, like, all the leaves, like, spawning in particle effects, you know. So we can get a bit laggy if you have lots of leaves all over the place. And that is it for the snapshot. Hope you all enjoyed. It's been a lot of fun. Hope you hope you stay tuned for the next video. Comment down below anything you'd like to see for Minecraft and all that kind of cool stuff. Thank you for watching and goodbye.